curls care video, a lot of people have asked, you know, what should I do to define the curl? What can I do to define the curl? Is it best to wear the hair twisted out? Or is it best to wear it big and crazy? You know, how can I get longevity out of the hair? And what should I do on a daily basis to maintain it? So the first answer is that um, twist outs definitely elongate the hair, but also add to the longevity of, or the life expectancy of the hair because you're not really clumping the curls together. So um, when you clump the curls, you get more curl definition, but you also have to do a lot more detangling just to get it to go back to its natural curl. So upon installation, um, you can wear the hair out as is. Typically when I first get it installed, I don't really put any product in it for a couple of days. I mean, twist it out with water or, you know, maybe put a little bit of oil on it, but I really don't do too much to it. So this next clip that you're going to see is going to be of me telling you what I do on a daily basis in order to get the curl to define. And in that clip, I mentioned using Miss Jessie's Pillow Soft Curls, but since I shot that, I've actually been using Miss Jessie's Quick Curls instead, and I absolutely love it for curl definition, especially when it comes to the ends. It really gets it to clump together, and it's amazing. Just gonna just spray some water through it. Rub it in. Just tie from the bottom. Brush it from the tip. All the way to root. I try to get as close to the root as possible to prevent any tangling back then, back there. Um, sometimes I use a tangle teaser to get it really up there, or sometimes I just take smaller sections. But today I'm just gonna, just gonna put some more product back there. Focusing in on the ends and brushing the so you can see how it's like clumping together. Brush it through, and that's pretty much it. You can see it. Go through and brush everything, and then I let it dry. And once it dries, it's much bigger. But this is just to show you. This side hasn't been done yet. I just took it down from a pineapple, and this side is what I pretty much do. Um, to get it to be more defined. I don't do this every day. I do this like every two or three days. And then in between that, I just kind of pineapple it and put like some oil on my hands and kind of fluff through it in the morning. Cause you don't want it to get too product heavy and you don't want it to just too product heavy and that'll cause tangling. We just don't want to keep manipulating it too much so that you can keep as much hair on as possible. You don't want to have to brush through it every day cause that will increase the shedding. So. It's pretty much it. I'll show it to you once I've done the other side and once it's dry. As you can see, I'm, I'm pretty much done now. All I've done is gone through and sprayed each section, as we discussed earlier, and just brushed through it with the water and my diamond brush. Then I put the pillow soft curls in each section and brushed through that again. And this is what I got. So it's pretty defined. And for the most part, it stays like this all day. It does get a little bit bigger. And then usually during the day, I might just put some oil on my hands and rub it through. But stays pretty soft and pretty curly, so. So now that you've seen what I do for maintenance on a day-to-day -day basis, I'll just spend a few minutes just describing what I do at nighttime. In terms of nighttime care, I pretty much just either sleep with it in a pineapple if I have a really long installation, or I'll put it in a really big, chunky twist if um, I don't, if it's shorter. If I do the whole clumped curl thing to define the curl. I don't twist it too much because I don't want to separate the curls and, and get it all frizzy and fuzzy. This is a penetrating oil from Organics. And I just literally put a little bit of that in my hand, get it up on there, rub it on the hair, twist it up so that it doesn't tangle at night. Nice big chunky twist. And then I like pin it and sleep with a bonnet. And on those lazy days where I feel like doing absolutely nothing, I just fall asleep on a satin pillowcase and it turns out just fine the next morning. So when you get up in the morning, you get in the shower. If you want to just, you know, let the steam from the shower hit the hair, fluff it up while you're in there, and then follow up with some penetrating oil. 